Welcome to tutorial number two for OOTP Perfect Team. Thanks to the couple users that emailed me uh, and thanked me for the first video. Uh, they said that it helped them kind of get a footing and they, they did feel a little bit overwhelmed. So I'm glad if I can only help out a few users start their Perfect Team journey, excellent. That's what I'm here for. This is again going to be a series of maybe 10 to 15 tutorial videos. I want to try and put out at least one a day, 15 to 20 minutes at the most to guide you on what you can do to be better in Perfect Team. If you're willing to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars like some users do, you can work your way up the rankings really quick. But if you want to avoid spending a lot of money, I'll show you some little things that you can do and have your team slowly work up the rankings. But I'm gonna be honest, you can probably not get to perfect team without spending any money. It's gonna be really tough to do because some of those high level players are expensive. You might be able to get there. Hard to stay there though. You have to really grind away and earn perfect points to open packs. Today, I'm gonna to show you one valuable tip, and that is the missions. You can work your way up by completing some of the OOTP missions. Remember, in the entry pool, this doesn't mean anything. There's no championship, there's no playoffs, there's no trophy. It's simply a way to seed teams in the second week. So our team, the Jim Unknown Blue Jays, were 19 and 15. That's a decent record, but it doesn't mean anything. What matters is the perfect points that you earn. If you go to the market tab, transaction history, you can take a look at the perfect points that you've earned so far. This is by your play by having your players complete certain tasks in games. I started with 1100, I've got almost 4000. Now the kind of the instinct thing that a lot of people want to do is to spend their money on packs. So I could get a gold pack and a regular pack. But I don't want to do that. Because I might get a couple dud packs and I've just kind of wasted 4000 perfect points. What you should be doing first, my advice, when you earn perfect points, go to the main menu, go to collect missions. You want to sort your missions by difficulty, ascending, like I have here. And all the one star missions are the easy missions. These are missions where you can gain packs very quickly by getting a few key players. So I'm going to take a look and, and, and show you a couple that you should probably do right away. So here's one down here. You just need one card to complete it. Okay, it's a Joe Maurer, build a lineup. So if I click on Joe Maurer, I can see that there's one for sale for 94 perfect points. I'm going to buy it. 94 out of my almost 4,000. Now when I go back to the mission screen, it's complete and I get a free pack. So I'm going to submit that. So remember, I said that you could buy packs. If I wanted to buy that pack, it's a thousand points. I just got that same pack for about 94 points, a huge saving. Now, before completing any other missions, what I would suggest is you open your packs as you get them because you may get players that help you in your missions you don't want to buy a player and then open a pack and get that same player all right so i didn't get anything extremely valuable here but then i'll go through that process again i'll go through go to the missions and find another easy one that's going to get me a pack. Same thing, Willie McCovey, build a lineup, 69 perfect points, done, purchased. Now the next one is, is 80 perfect points. So I got, I got a sale on that one. 
Okay, oh, I didn't submit it. I need to submit that mission. So I'm gonna go back, submit. And now those two players that I just bought, because I'm in the entry pool, I can probably use them in my lineup. So not only did I get a really cheap pack, but I got some players that might help me in the entry pool. So let's open this one up and look, I got a silver reliever. He's going to make my lineup. He's going to help the team and that's going to help me gain some more perfect points. Again, when you're doing the missions, it's up to you. Do you want the packs or do you want the players? Notice for the players, there are no easy missions for players. Once you get to the two star missions, you need a lot of cards. That's going to cost you a lot of perfect points. That's why I say look for the missions that only require one card or two cards. 88 perfect points. I'm buying it. Again, I want to submit it. And I want to go back and open that pack in case I get a card that I don't need to buy. Or maybe a gold. Nope. All live players. Not a useful pack, but again, it's one way that I can accumulate cards very quickly. So we'll just do it one more time. There are, I believe, eight or nine missions that only have the one card. Again, click on it, 89 points. Anything under 100 is really good to complete that mission. And we'll go back, we'll submit, and one more time, we'll open that pack, see what we get. Now here's where a diamond would really help your team. And nothing overly valuable. But in those four packs, I picked up three or four players that I can use. Here are the guys I got. Willie McCovey. He's going to be on the team. Cal Ripken Jr. on the team. Joe Maurer. And a reliever. I'm going to put on the team as well. Because they're better than a lot of these bronze players that I have already. One more time, go to the missions. Now you can see that I've got one card from the packs that I've opened, so I can work on these if I want. For instance, this one here, 1968. I can go and buy four of these and get a silver pack. Depends on the price. A little bit pricey. A silver pack is 3,000 points probably going to cost me close to a thousand to buy these players in fact if I bought let's just let's just go through and take a look so that's 170 and about another 200 so 370 about 670 we'll say 650 and yeah about 800 perfect points to get a silver pack it's kind of right on the borderline for me. But I'm also going to get four players that can help me in my lineup. So if I want to spend 800 perfect points, I can do that. I would go through and look for all the one player missions. Joe Morgan is another one. What's he cost? Well, let's find out. 115, a little more expensive, but he's worth it because I'm going to put him on my team. He's going to earn me perfect points being on my team. Again, submit, go through, open up that pack. And I haven't opened up anything valuable, but I'll bet you one of you will in the five packs that you open. Again, nothing valuable there. All right, that is your tip for today. Go through the missions, collect some more packs, Alter your lineup based on the players that you buy or the players that you purchase. And again, if you want to spend your perfect points another way, you can spend it on players, on the card shop. But we're going to talk about that in the next tutorial. You can go, what are the cards that I can afford? 
look at all these cards and you can buy that one premium player to help your team. But my advice, do the easy missions first. Before you buy players, complete some of those easy missions. All right, guys, thank you for tuning into episode two. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my website. You can see the website right there where I have other videos and other series and platforms that I cover. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next episode. It is a great day for baseball.